Welcome back. The Goodman Gallery in Johannesburg is currently hosting Berlin-based interdisciplinary artist and writer Grada Kilombo for her first solo exhibition on the African continent. It's entitled Speaking the Unspeakable. Her current project explores the concept of body, voice, image and staying true to her style of work. She also answers questions of who can speak, uh, what can we speak about and what happens when we speak. Well, to help us uh, unpack this and uh, have this conversation further. Uh, Grada does indeed uh, join us now in studio. Good morning and welcome Good to Morning, morning. Lab. <laughs> now for people who've absolutely never heard of your name, who've never seen your work, why don't you take us through who you are and the work that you do? Well, my name is Kilomba and not Kilombo. Okay. As usually, it's also very common that mm -hmm. we associate a name with Colombo, <laughs> <laughs> as we are so charged, yes. colonially so charged. But Kilomba is a, a Kimbundu name from Angola, so that's where my name is from. I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I work with different genres and formats, and the base of my work is very much text, and I'm very interested on working and experiment on the performance of text uh, visually and with sound and with installations. Now this is your first uh, uh, exhibition on the uh, Afri African continent. It is. Um, why was now the apt time for you to, to do this exhibition and, and what is it about showcasing in Africa that uh, you, you, you felt uh, you know, would translate very well with, with your work and the message that you're trying to put out there? Well, I've been showing and working mostly in Europe as I live uh, in, in Berlin, in Germany, and I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. And I've been working mostly in Europe, also in Brazil, because there's a very strong connection. Um, it is very meaningful to show the work in the continent. That also has to do because I just started being represented by the Goodman Gallery, who's really creating a body of uh, artists from the African diaspora. And this is something very important for us from the diaspora living in Europe to have a foot here and to keep working there and here. So when you usually show your work in museums and uh, spaces in Europe, um, the work is the same, but it has a different meaning somehow. When you bring the work to the South, um, it feels like the work is finally understood, or there's a very strong attachment and connection. Uh, as a black woman, as a woman from the diaspora, I felt it is really a celebration for me just to bring the work here to South Africa. Absolutely incredible. And also and to this context. Yes. Um, and I mean, you speak about speaking the unspeakable. I want to talk about the inspiration, mm. uh, you know, and just the driving force behind uh, that message. And I think uh, in part, I kind of get it because you mentioned uh, being a woman, being a black woman. There's so many things in today's world that we're told to speak up and yet we can't speak up. There's so many unspeakable things. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so take us through the inspiration and of, of your core message. You know, when, when we started this solo at the Goodman Gallery, uh, it was created by Lada uh, Kozef and produced by Moses Leo. And we, when we thought we put it in this context of South Africa, which has this history, our collective history of colonialism, the history of apartheid, um, it was very important and, and this is very much what my work has been about. My work is very focused on the coloniality and on the, uh, how uh, to experiment forms of decolonizing knowledge, decolonizing the white cube. Decolonizing the mind. Also, but also to occupy and to interrupt this white cube where usually our narratives do not enter where our narratives are not heard and seen. So uh, we thought, well, if you put a show here, let's call it Speaking the Unspeakable. And as the unspeakable as a metaphor for things that uh, we could not speak about, we didn't have the language to speak about, things that have been too violent to be grasped into words, things that are too dehumanizing and you don't have the vocabulary for them. So that's the idea of speaking the unspeakable. I'm really just so 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 <laughs> touched and so moved by uh, just you letting me and uh, letting us into uh, your world. The exhibition has been showing at the Goodman Gallery. Mm. Um, how have people responded to it? In particular, um, 
you know, the different sort of races, black, white, Indian, colored, that have come into the space to sort of mm. explore your works? Well, the response has been quite wonderful. I was not expecting that. That so many people came to the opening and I engage from the audience as well, from the media. And that is quite beautiful. I think very much we are in a time historically that we need to use these platforms and really to interrupt them and to bring a new agenda and a new language. And people can connect, can connect very strongly with, with arts and understand the importance of arts to transform. I think what arts is able to give us is to create new languages and visualities and images that usually we do not have access to. And when you create that very magical space where people enter and become transformed, um, the response is very warm and very energetic. It's been quite beautiful. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm really happy for you. Uh, now, uh, some of the themes that you focus on mm. in, in your work relate to um, gender, race, trauma, um, and memory. Uh, mm. what, what other themes are close to your heart and that you think you'll be exploring um, as you continue to, mm. um, you know, delve deeper into the issues that really uh, make the black woman tick? Well, my focus is very much the memory and the trauma. I want to work since long. I, I've been working a lot on, on, on that, with that term. And when I use unspeakable, I also use it as a metaphor to trauma. Trauma is a Greek word, a word that means uh, injury or wound. And actually, the history of colonialism and of oppression has not been associated with trauma, with a wound. And I think very much that colonialism is that wound that collective one that was never treated properly and that uh, it always hurts and sometimes it bleeds and we always very surprised when it bleeds because but actually it, it is a wound better by now. that has never been treated and this is very much then what i want to explore in my artistic work i want to bring um to to, to create a platform to this unspeakable as also as a metaphor to trauma and to explore gender and race and create a storytelling visually and through narrative of stories that were not told. There's a central piece, a central installation uh, in, this, in, in this show that is focused on a woman that was very important to me called Anastasia. And she was a woman who was enslaved by the Portuguese um, and brought probably from Angola to Brazil, or she was born in Brazil, we don't really know uh, the story. But she uh, very much symbolizes what you just asked. She's a woman who were forced to have a mask in, um, in her mouth and not but, able uh, to speak. Yeah. And this is exactly what you, is, uh, this show is exploring, what we can speak about. I wish we had more time. Unfortunately, we are out of time. But thank you so much for making the thank time you to as come well. to the show. Thank you so much for having awesome me. Work. Uh, that's Berlin-based interdisciplinary artist and writer Grada uh, speaking to us about her first solo exhibition in Africa called Speaking the Unspeakable. That's currently showing at the Goodman Gallery here in Johannesburg. All right, for myself, I will say uh, goodbye, but I will hand over to Simpiwe, who will also say his goodbyes. We'll see you again tomorrow. All right, let's take a final look at the batch of tweets that have been coming through this morning. We asked you uh, to share with us some of the stories that caught your attention in the past week. Let's hear what you have to say about them. Um, Tunzi says, uh, yesterday the leader of uh, the ANC was in KZN, but the provincial leader uh, chose to be with Jay-Z. That's uh, Sikhe Zigalala. Ruben says, I was surprised when the ANC presidency talked about bringing Julius Malema back to the ANC as what? To take over the presidency of the ANC? Well, he's now better off at the EFF. Uh, Ruben again says, uh, the number of deaths on our roads. The other main cause is using cellular phones while driving. Bullies and their cheating tendencies. Another Obama, well, yeah, another Obama says, uh, for SFM pulling Sakina Kamwendo off air halfway through, that was heartless. What goes around comes around. One day is one day. 
Mr. Icon Gauteng says, I'm saddened by the way radio stations go uh, by just reshuffling people without proper consultation. Some of the presenters are left without jobs. That's bad indeed. Hashtag radio reshuffle. And at uh, Titello M says, a vote of no confidence motion in Ethel Trollip. Tembiso says the shuffle chaos at Nelson Mandela Bay Municipal Council meeting. Uh, the councillors need to stop being selfish and start thinking about people who voted them into those seats. We need a better South Africa. Also, the number of deaths due to accidents in a few days is saddening. All right, with that uh, last bet of uh, tweets, we thank you for, so much uh, for having uh, shared your thoughts with us and we thank you for watching uh, till this far. And uh, we'll do this thing again tomorrow, Indeed. bright and early, 6 o'clock. Indeed, we'll be with you again from 6 to 9 a.m. Thank you so much for having tuned in. For now, we do play you out uh, with uh, AB, AB Crazy, Crazy, who I've dubbed AB Baby. <laughs>